Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Manic Mink. This is Xenonauts. When we last left off, we were going to rename some people. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know a name from Maya Jacobson. So if you think of something, let me know in a comment and I will name her that. Unless she's dead. In which case I won't. Uh, Claire Mills, um... Claire Danes. There we go. Kind of look like her. Just going for actors and actresses at this point. Um, because I don't know really any other people at the moment to give uh, to give a name to. You actually, I'm going to take this out of here and give you a shotgun. Another clip, equipment, uh... Flashbang, and I'll add a grenade as well. Okay. So yeah, that's a bit better, because then you'll have... Or should I... Uh, uh, med pack. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You actually have a lot of carry weight. Jeez. Uh... Also making sure everyone has a med kit... Does everyone have a med kit? Yes, I think they do. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll continue to go. Just, uh, our waiting for something to happen speed. Uh, UFO detected, 1600. That is uh, 2000. Hmm. This, I think, is a foxtrot. And then you, 1400. Send a condor after you. And then you, 1400. Wow, okay, condor after you. Uh, and I can't do anything about that one. Uh, auto resolve. Yes. Turn to base. Uh, I will probably go after this one, or I will probably go on that mission. Auto resolve. Return to base. Uh, alien biology. Tissue analysis on the remains of different extraterrestrial species has allowed us to compare them with one another in an attempt to find characteristics common to all of them. Uh, though we have no definite answers, there are hints as to the origins of the aliens. Strong similarities in the physiology of all biological alien units encountered so far. For example, all are humanoid. All possess both a circulatory system and central nervous system. Uh, this allows the possibility of a common planetary origin. Huge variety of life on our own planet clearly illustrates that an, uh, an array of vastly different creatures can evolve simultaneously. Uh, this was our initial assumption, largely due to the shared habitat inside the alien UFOs. Atmosphere is 5-6% to 6 oxygen rather than the 21% ours. Aliens respire via oxygen in very much the same manner that humans do, using a common vector distributed around the body. Semi-synthetic protein that mimics the role of human hemoglobin, but much more effectively. Uh, the fundamental organic chemistry is so drastically different between the alien species that a common origin cannot be possible. The reason these species can share a common habitat is not evolution, but rather extensive genetic engineering. Uh, the oxygen-carrying car protein bears no resemblance to any other part of the, any of the corpses studied. In other words, it appears that external forces have engineered these creatures to be capable of breathing the same air that they do. Uh, identity of this external force and the reasoning behind this re decision remains obscure, at least for now. In the meantime, turn this research to practical use. My team has constructed holding tanks and laboratories that can be used to confine uh, captured aliens in a low oxygen environment. Uh, if exposed to hours in atmosphere for long enough, alien units will eventually succumb to oxygen toxicity. Okay, so we can research stun weapons now. Let's lower this a bit more. Try to at least get to good. Commence project. Let's do that. Uh, auto resolve. Yes. Turn to base. This. Uh, okay. So here's the thing. There's a crash site here. Um, small crash site is probably, I guess, 
like a scout or something. Um, but this is landed, so we have to kind of go after this. I'm going to launch my craft. I um, think we should be all right. Engage. So this is going to be a kind of a difficult mission, I suspect. Because... Uh, Well, you know, um, shit, it's a nighttime mission again, which is just perfect. <laughs> Look over, there's just a guy standing there. Oh, hello, sorry. Hello. Uh, you are a bad guy. Let's go over here. Get some visuals on you. Yes, I know. Um, can I hit you from here? Press the wrong guy, definitely. Um, nope. Uh, you definitely won't have a shot. You might, though. Okay, um... Nice, you go, uh... Really, guy? You panicked? Already? Um... Good. Uh, you... Uh, you go to here. Kill him. Awesome. Uh, you have panicked, so you go to here. Crouch, please, and throw a flare over that way. Uh, you go to up here. Crouch, can you throw a flare? Probably not. Okay, didn't think you could. You go up to there, uh, and you, sniper... Get you to here. And turn, so we've taken out two of them. Here's the thing. What I was trying to say, this mission is going to be quite a bit harder because we didn't shoot this down. Um, this isn't a... You know, we've... We've shot down a UFO so we can, you know... Not take our time, but you know, so so there's there's dead guys. This is a uh, we basically are are coming up on this as they're landed doing something, which is quite a bit trickier, I think. Yes, I know there's a guy there. I'd like to go there and then crouch, please. Thank you. Uh, so it's quite a bit trickier. There's uh, honestly probably going to be a lot more bad guys. You can't take a shot. 
You, I will just move up here. Um, you, can I get over there? Yes, I can. Crouch, please. Um, and you move to... Oh, shit. Hello. Um, I did not see you there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... We might be in trouble. <laughs> okay. So you are suppressed, but you're not dead. You are suppressed, but again, not dead. That's the important part. You have panicked. Oh, you're going to take damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Um, help. <laughs> really? God, you suck. Um, okay. Uh, hold on. Have to get you healed up. If I go there, uh... Good. You, um, take a crack at this guy. Uh, you... Crouch. You suck. Um... Campbell, I don't actually want to move you very far, just because... Ouch. Okay. Jesus. I did not see that guy behind the trees. Oh, my God. Um... You're okay now. You, I'd like to swap your gun back. You should, yeah, I guess you're gonna take some crouch. There we go. Jeez. Okay, um, you're gonna swap to this, and then you're gonna heal yourself, and then you're gonna swap back to your gun. Okay. I am very happy that you did not die, because that would have been. Probably pretty bad. Scrouch. Throw a flare out that way. Throw a flare out that way. <laughs> Another sniper. Get you up to there. And then crouch. So yeah, um, because we didn't shoot this down, there's going to be a lot more bad guys, basically. Um, because obviously when you shoot something down and it crashes, it kills some guys. 22, you're one unit off. Good. That's what I wanted. One unit off from being useful. Uh, 
And I know, I know, if I had uh, not... Not spent all my money, but spent all my... Uh, 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 words, words, why can I not words right now, um, had I not overloaded these guys slightly, um, then I would have been able to, uh, use more, or have more time units, but... I uh, see, I think I'd prefer to have overloaded them a little bit and not not end up in a situation where I'm uh, waiting too long for people to uh, level up for strength. Because then you can carry more stuff. I don't know. I, I'm just rambling at this point. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the alien behind the tree scared the crap out of me. It really... I was... far too surprised by it. I want to throw stuff until I find the UFO. Because I can hear guys going in and out. You jump over here. Uh, you go to there. Uh, and hopefully this will also help me with more time units uh, to get people to level up a bit more. Shield person. Um, you go to there. Is that the end of the map? Really? So then it must go out that... Okay, it does. So we are facing the wrong direction. Oh, hello. And there's the UFO. What great timing. Well, good news is we found the UFO. Bad news is uh, we moved all our guys in the wrong direction to do anything about it. <laughs> okay. Um, you're just going to run around? Sure. Okay, let's move you. Uh, I think you're pretty safe running this way. Um, you are pretty safe running this way as well. I doubt anybody's going to be able to shoot you from that distance. Uh, you, I'd like to get up in front. Thank you. Uh, sniper, I'd like to move here at least, and then throw a flare over this way. I like that we have unlimited flares. That's very nice. Riflemen uh, also come over this way. Burst. You are already on burst, and you are on aim shot. Okay. Good, we killed it. Awesome. I like killing him. Wow, you are actually a really good shot. Um, I'm kind of surprised by that. So you are suppressed. Actually, I'm going to send you over here. Just want to make sure because I'm not. Actually, shouldn't have moved this guy up more. Um, I should have just left him where he was. 
That's our timer going off, but that's fine. Um... Get you to there. Uh, and assault. Yes, let's run you to here. Eventually I'm going to get him a better weapon than a shotgun, but, um... I guess until then, we'll be fine. Okay, that appears to be clear. You can crouch down. You crouch down. You go there. Um, Come on, open the door. Fine, I'll have you do it. Uh, go. Yes, that's it. Good job, us. Uh, that's got data core. Still destroyed. Damn it. You landed. You shouldn't have had anything destroyed. Uh, plus one bravery for being wounded. Plus two bravery for killing ten units. Okay, so this crash site, I think I'm just going to airstrike it. Uh, because... My guys need to come back and rest anyway. You can come back on the team. Let's make sure everybody's still... Oh, you're not overweight anymore. Anymore? 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 Uh, we'll add a grenade. You're still... You're still... You're still... Okay, all you guys are still good. Let's keep going. Nothing going on. I like that. Jackal Combat Armor. Jackal Combat Armor offers our soldiers extra battlefield protection, the cost of increased weight. It's not the ideal equipment for every situation, but in many cases, the extra survivability could be the difference between life and death. Laboratory tests on captured alien plasma weapons have confirmed that traditional body armor is essentially worthless against alien projectiles, having been designed to resist ballistic impact rather than heat damage. However, testing a modified combat vest with heat-resistant uh, rather than impact-resistant ceramic plays shows an impressive result. Uh, the ceramics were able to dissipate enough of the heat to give the wearer a reasonable chance of survival, but are still likely to suffer injuries in the process. While, it's, uh, while it provides an obvious boost to survivability, armor is heavy and will limit the other equipment, such as ammunition or secondary weapons a soldier can carry into battle. Armor also degrades rapidly under fire and will not withstand repeated hits, uh, nor provide the wearer guaranteed prote protection. Uh, E.g., it hardly matters what, a soldier, what armor a soldier is wearing if he's shot in the face. Uh, nevertheless, still better than nothing can be constructed in the workshop. So let's go to the research screen. Um, nope, you're still going to be poor, so... We will assign it like that. Engineers, armor, jackal armor, commence. Uh, one, two... How many guys can we take on our plane? Eight? Yeah, go to workshop screen, thank you. I'd like to do at least five. Um, that should be able, we should be able to cover our heavier or better troops with armor then. Fingers crossed, right? Um, or at least the guys who are being in the front line. Maybe snipers don't need it, but I think everybody else could probably use the armor. Uh, 2,000, that's another Foxtrot. 
1400. That is a condor. Uh, okay, return to base. Uh, I will wait until we shoot this other UFO down. Uh, crash site, we will airstrike that, and then let's, uh, hold on, shield. Jackal armor. I'm gonna get rid of the shotgun and the shotgun shells in favor of, we'll say... Another grenade and a flashbang. Now a flashbang, a smoke grenade will do. Uh, then, assault, I'd like to give you jackal armor. Get rid of some of your grenades. Um, I'll add in a flashbang there. Uh, so we only have two jackal armors, so the two guys who go up front are probably the ones who need it the most. Sounds good to me. Uh, Kate, saying, I don't know a name for you yet, so... And if anybody wants to be named, or if anybody thinks of names, or, you know, anything like that, do let me know, because I'm, I'm totally cool, uh, giving you names, or naming these people after you, you poor dumb bastards. Uh, at the moment, um, I don't even think the first episode's gone up yet, so... You know, we'll, we'll, you'll understand how it goes. Um, actually, I shouldn't have started this mission. I should have, uh, saved and waited until the next time, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take on this mission next time. I think that seems good. Uh, so, I am Manic Mank. This is Xenonauts, and we'll see you next time. Uh, take care, everyone.